the manufacturing world, we have three categories of manufacturers. So we worked with 12 tier one producers. These are large scale garment manufacturers. The likes of Dignity and so forth, Dignity DTRT. We also worked with 35 tier two producers who are medium scale garment companies. And then we had 38 tier three producers who are small scale garment companies. These are not micro, these are small and medium size. So these are businesses who already had significant investments on the ground that we're able to rely on. And then of course, a question that often gets asked, where did we get the textiles from? Where well, we worked with three existing textiles fabric producers to supply the fabric to the manufacturers to do the four PPEs that I mentioned earlier. So what was the result? Just quickly to give you a sense of what it is that we ended up doing. 18.8 million face masks, 90,000 hospital gowns, 90,000 head covers. These are the, the full the head cover. I'm sure our colleagues can give a better description. And 60,000 medical scrubs. Once we got going, what was some of the impact of this on the businesses we were working with? So if we looked at the five tier one companies, they had the capacity of producing 150,000 face masks per day. The tier two, if you add the three together, they were doing over one million face masks per day. Now that is a number we throw out, but you know that is a significant, literally from zero, we will be able to produce over one million face masks every day. If you do the numbers, it meant that within a month, we could provide enough face masks for every Ghanaian in Ghana. There are, company, there are parts of the world today that are still trying to address this problem and do not have enough face masks. But in Ghana, we have the local capacity to do that. And we used over 3.760 million, 3.76 million, million yards to produce those masks. Some of the savings we made, well, because we made these masks locally in Ghana, we saved over $16.8 million of, we just didn't need it. We didn't need to go and find dollars to export to buy these masks. We created over 10,000 jobs. I know of at least, and I think this is something, thank you for a clap on that. These numbers roll, but they are so significant. I think as the Minister of Health said, if you look around the world today, just turn on the newspapers and the news, and you see that the graphs of many parts of the world are going in the opposite direction. And it's because of these interventions, over 10,000 direct jobs, and then we had new investments by local financial institutions. I know, for instance, of three companies who as a result of the government making the orders for them to produce face masks, paid off all their loans that they had with the banks. So this is the government putting its money where its mouth is supporting its own to make sure that we deliver. <laughs>